So in this video, we're going to put all the things together that we've learned about the basics of working in Tableau to duplicate the famous Rosling graph from his famous talk. So we are going to create a visualization that shows over time the changes in life expectancy compared with fertility rate for the countries that we have data for in the world. So you should open up the Rosling Start Point workbook and you should see what I see here. The Rosling Start Point workbook is available online. We have some real simple data here that just has the data fields we need. The continent, the country, the year, and then the two main axes, which is fertility rate and life expectancy at birth. So let's set up the basic visualization first, where we're gonna take fertility rate and put it into rows, and we're going to take life expectancy and put it into columns. Now, I've messed this up and I tend to do this. I have not placed the fields in the right order, but thankfully, Tableau has the swap button, which will rearrange these two fields. And so now we're going to have fertility rate along the x-axis and we're going to have life expectancy on the y-axis. Now these numbers look a little bit crazy. People aren't having 40,000 babies. What's going on here is that Tableau by default tries to sum all of the values in the data set based upon the way that we've broken it down. And right now we haven't broken down the data in the data set by country or by year or anything else. And so Tableau is just summing everything up and we get this single data point. Now there's a few ways we can fix this. One way is that we can go up to the analysis toolbar and we can just uncheck aggregate measures and all of a sudden we're going to get a dot for every row in our database. And so these are dots for every country for every year. Now we're gonna to have to clean that up a little bit, but you'll notice here that our Y axis looks more reasonable as does our X axis here as well. The next thing we want to do is use the size of this circle to indicate the relative population of each country. So to do that, we have to use the size mark on the marks card and we just take total population and drop it into size. Now these circles are very hard to see. So instead of using the automatic mark, let's click on the drop down for automatic on the marks card and choose circle, which will by default show us filled circles. And now we can see these little tracks of each of the countries by year. This is probably too small for the small circles. So let's go to our size mark, click it, and just make the sizes a little bit bigger, maybe something like that. And it's still gonna be relatively a mess at this point because we're showing all of the circles for all of the years. The next thing that we would like to do is to color these circles by continent. So all we need to do here is drop continent onto color. And we now have rainbow colors for each of the continents. We probably want to switch those around a little bit. These are pretty bright colors. They might be too bright, but let's hold off on that until we see what it looks like with history. Is to add the dimension of time. To do that, we're going to place year onto the pages. And now we're only getting a single dot for each one of the countries. Again, the size is pretty small. So let's go back to our size card. and Let's make these a little bit bigger so that the smallest countries are at least visible. We don't see which country is which on the tooltip. So let's 
put country into detail. It won't change anything in the graph, but it will bring country in so that we can use it for the label and for the tooltip. We see here that we have Trinidad and Tobago, and it's interesting that these are in the data North America, but we'll just leave it like that. Now, the only difference that we have in this graph compared to Hans Rosling's at this point is that our circle colors are based on continent, and Hans Rosling has a little bit different breakdown in that he has, as that he has the OEDC countries separated out. We don't have that because our data doesn't have that, but that's okay. Now, let's see what happens. Once we put year into pages, you see that we got the animation control over here on the right. And let's go ahead and click on show history and then the drop down. And we want to make sure that our marks are showing history for all the marks. That marks are what we want to show, not trails, not both for now. And we'll leave fade the way it is. We might decide to come in here and adjust it a little bit more later on. Now we can play our animation at slow, medium, or fast. So let's choose fast and go ahead and hit play. We probably want to do a few extra things to this though. Maybe we want to fade these circles out a little bit more. Now you can use fade or you can also come in here and use opacity. And sometimes I think that opacity works a little bit better. Um, so I just switched the opacity under format to 25%. We also probably want to clean up these lines, but first let's tell this to use the entire view. Now we don't really need fertility rate by point. We have the animation most likely. And we so have the basics of the right Rosling click graph. Click and choose all edit finish. axis. And let's go to tick marks and fix it at the tick interval of one. And let's come over here to the Y axis, edit the axis, and change the tick marks to fixed at 10. Now the reason fixing the marks is a good idea is if people are working on different sized screens tableau will reduce the division between the tick marks based upon the resolution that they have and if you don't want that to be changing you might want to fix the tick marks let's get rid of these grid lines so we'll right click and choose format We'll go to our lines and we'll get rid of our grid lines for our rows and our columns. And we need to go ahead and put that year label here in this white space. So let's right click and choose to annotate the area. Now a nice thing that when you put something into the pages shelf, Something that happens is you get some properties of the page that you can insert. So we've got insert page name and page name will be whatever the value is of the page that you're currently on. So let's highlight it. Let's make it much larger, like 48 point. Let's make the font kind of a darker gray and bold and say OK. We'll have to give it a little bit more space so it fits. And let's right click and choose Format and let's get rid of the shading. And there we go. We have a basic Hans Rosling chart done. We could do more to it. We could adjust the colors to make them maybe a little bit less bright, but we won't do that now. This was just to apply the things that we've learned the basics of building a visualization in Tableau.